I need to put two routers up here. So let's click on this, drag them up, and again. Let's connect them both now. I click on the wire and copper crossover. Click once, gig ethernet. Click on the other one, gig ethernet. I would like this router to be labeled London. This router is labeled Paris. These are just labels. Let's rename the router itself now. So I'll start with London. I click once on London and I get a configuration screen. I'll go to the CLI command line interface. It asks me if I want to continue with the initial configuration dialog to which I answer no. Press enter and I get the user exec mode prompt. First I'll key in E in for enable conf t configure the terminal host name London. This router is now named London. I'll close this up. I'll go to the next router. Click on that once. Click on the command line interface. Node and enter. Enable configure terminal host name Paris. In the prompt name itself, there is Paris. So now we have our two routers configured partially. Here's Paris and here's London. Now I'm going to enable the password on London. I click on it, open it up, and I go to the CLI. I'm at this prompt where I left off. London config. So I key in enable password. And now I have to give it a password. The system will confront the user with the password prompt after he keys in EN. So I'm going to key in as a password PEM. And I hit enter. The only way to ensure that this works is by testing it. I'm going to key in end and exit. And I'm brought back out to the beginning. I press enter to return. I'm now at the user exec mode, which is the mode that ends with the greater than sign. Now I'm going to key in enable and watch what happens. I'm hit with a password prompt. So I key in PEM, which doesn't show up on the screen, and I hit enter. And now I'm in. Let me close the window here. I'm going to go to the next router, Paris. And here, I click on this router. I'm going to enable the secret password. You would just key in enable secret. Secret privileged exec mode. That's our password. And I hit enter. There is actually a difference between this one and the other one. Let's find out what that is. But first let's test this. I key in end and then exit and hit enter. And once again I'll I'll be tested. I key in in for enable. And again I'm hit with a password. And my password is S P E M secret privileged exec mode. I hit enter and I come to the prompt. Will you say what is the difference between the two of these password types? Well let's find out. At the privileged exec mode prompt I key in show run. That means show the running configuration. And I hit enter. Host name is Paris and enable secret and I see this hashed password. That's what secret does. Now let's go over to the other router. We're at the CLI and the privileged exec mode. So I'm going to key in again show run. Short for show running configuration. And this time we see a big difference. The host name for this router is London. Well, the enable password is PEM. We can clearly see this. This is in plain text, which means it is open to observation by anyone who does any shoulder surfing while you key in show run. 
This is observable and therefore constitutes a risk. So enable secret is the safer of the two. We can, however, make this a little bit better. How could we do that? Well, let's go to the configuration mode. Conf T. And now I'm going to key in. I need a service. A password dash encryption service, please. I hit enter. And now I key in show run. Whoops, that's what happens when you don't exit out. Now I'm in the privileged exec mode. I can key in show run. And I hit enter. And take a look at my password now. It is now encrypted. And that brings us to the end for now. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.